So despite being on booktube for several years at this point, uh, this is actually my first video where I'm actually going into like stats and charts and graphs and all that kind of thing. Hey, what's going on everybody? Justin here and in this video I just kind of want to do a little check-in over the first quarter of 2024. Kind of going over maybe like some of my reading goals, see if I'm actually even remotely hitting them or not. Um, and just kind of just talking about my thoughts on reading and rejoining book two here. Um, I feel like I've actually been, the big thing, my big takeaway is I have actually been very consistent. <laughs> <laughs> Since uh, starting back up, I think uh, the first week or so of February, I think my longest gap was only like four or five days, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty notorious for just, you know, ghosting booktube for months at a time, but one of my goals was to not have any, I think a week or two weeks or whatever was like my big goal of being consistent and whatnot, and I've done really good with that one so far. But yeah, let's just uh, talk about, uh, like, I guess what I've been reading and stuff. So, so far, as of whatever today is, like, April 5th, April 4th, April 4th, I think, yes, uh, I've finished 32 books so far this year, um, which I feel is about right. I had one, uh, January was really, really good. Um, and then I slowed down a lot in March, uh, particularly because it was March of the Mammoth. So I did one and a half mammoths there. Uh, one was like 800 something pages, but it was really small font. So it was definitely a lot more than <laughs> the 800 pages worth. And I read about half of another one. So right there was like, you know, over, over a thousand pages and what, you know, I didn't even, haven't even finished that one yet technically. So, uh, I think, like I said, the book number is actually pretty good. Uh, my page count is oh why didn't i write that it was just over ten thousand uh between story graph and goodreads uh, they're both uh, only a couple hundred pages apart because i don't always like change the editions and whatnot and that's actually slightly above average um which is kind of funny because i have years uh basically i had three or four years but that i've actually been keeping track uh that were all within like a couple hundred pages i think they were around right around like 30 there was a 32,000 or something per year. Um, and then I had two years that were like somehow like magically both right, like 10 pages apart around 45,000. But those two years, one was the first year I started booktube. So I think I just had like, you know, more inspiration, I'll say, uh, to get more done. Um, and then the other one was uh, lockdown and stuff. So I had like three months there where I basically just like doubled my reading output without like, you know, any stress and stuff for a couple months there. Um, so. Yeah, I'm actually like slightly in between those, so I feel like that's actually pro that's a good sign. That means I'm like reading a little bit more without like feeling any kind of burnout or anything like that. But yeah, if we break it down, it's exactly one quarter fiction to three quarters nonfiction. And I know what everyone's gonna be thinking is, Justin, you you don't ever show with <laughs> fiction books. How's that possible? Yeah, I, I don't. I I'll probably at some point start doing some of my fiction reads. Um, so it's broken down into seven Warhammer books. Um. That like, like I said, I just don't like talk. I don't really know what to talk about with them uh, uh, so much on book two. Maybe I'll become like the Warhammer guy. I don't know. I don't. I heard. I've seen Warhammer a couple times, but never seen anyone really like focus in on it or like consistently talk about it. Um, but you know, that's something I might do at some point uh, between 40k and Age of Sigmar. So that's kind of like my guilty pleasure reading uh, to clean up my palate sometimes when I, you know, read something like a March of the Mammoth title or, you know, just a really depressing book or something like that. Um, I also read, uh, fe reread Fellowship of the Ring. It, it was technically my first read of the year. I started at the end of last year. So that's where I got my eight books from. Um, so yeah, uh, I have an average rating of 4.16 and that's about right. I average rate around four and it, one is I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty lenient. It's pretty rare if I ever go under three uh, for anything like that. And uh, secondly, I like you know I kind of pre vet some of my books, especially like the nonfiction ones and stuff. Uh, so I already kind of know that they're either I, I try to weed out the ones I know I'm not gonna like beforehand, uh, and I do a pretty. Good, I've kind of figured out what I look for and stuff like that. So. Like I said, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm lenient and I already, I try to read good books. So yeah, 53% uh, have been under 300 pages, 41% uh, have been 300 to 500 pages, and then 6% have been more than 500 pages. So yeah, that sounds about right. I usually, I think my average page length, I think, uh, I can't, I didn't actually write this one down, um, 
but historically when I've like look, just looked it up for myself and stuff I think it was like 275 ish was kind of like the book length that I read you know as the average um but yeah just kind of breaking down some of the stuff I've read three very short introductions which is pretty good so one free averaging one for each month I didn't read one in uh, March because of March of the Mammoths, but I did read two in February, kind of anticipating that. So I'm perfectly on track for that. I'm my Warhammer reading that I had goals uh, for. I'm pretty much spot on for that. I'm like one behind maybe. Um, I've read nine history books 11, and 11 nature books. And then kind of the remaining stuff is either like philosophy-ish kind of stuff or, you know, I guess just kind of more just general nonfiction. Um, so I feel pretty good with that split. Um, I try to keep that about 50-50, uh, roughly. So I feel like that's going pretty well. And out of those nine history books, I'd say, uh, five for sure. There's kind of a sixth one that's, you know, do you count as a history book or more like a, it's kind of a history of Greek phil philosophers, sort of, in a way. Um, I guess there's Roman ones too, so it's, it's hard to kind of gauge it, you know, what do you classify that under, but at least five or six books for quarter one for Historathon, uh, which is a year long reading event that a bunch of other uh, people are running, but it's just really cool. Definitely check out their uh, Discord server and stuff. And right, we have pretty good discussions talking about lots of things. And that kind of leads me on to like participating in BookTube and whatnot. Um, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I've done like March of the Mammoths. I've talked to a bunch of people about that. I feel like I'm pretty active on the histor history or historiathon Discord server and stuff, so I feel like I'm, you know, be a member of like the bookish community for once. Springathon is coming right around the corner, and I'm definitely gonna do a lot for that one just because that's like my jam with like all my nature reads. And then, like I said, maybe like during that event, like I'll have to go over to the other side of the room to like look at my like nature field guides and outdoor kind of uh, books and whatnot. But yeah, just kind of on the topic of readathons, if you've made it so far into the video, let me know what you think about readathons. Uh, I have some ideas, we'll say, and I've been contacted by others about some ideas, and I have some other ideas and plans of my own and whatnot. So let me just kind of know what you're thinking about, what you think about for readathons, and if you like them or not. Um, I haven't hosted one in a long time. Uh, I did the history challenge with a couple others way back in let's see 2020 and 2021 i believe um but then i was pretty much a wall 2023 i in 2022 i think i was just super sporadic if i remember correctly um but yeah let me know if you like readathons or not or if you have ideas for them or if you'd like to see me either be a host or co-host for something or other i'm just trying to gauge interest here and i'm going to start posting some things on the community thing and for some polls and what not but yeah so like overall though i feel like i'm doing good being consistent and being kind of part of the community and talking to people and stuff so i feel really good um about that um uh, one of the goals i haven't been able to touch on really is like my gar I, I wanted to some do something about outdoorsy stuff like gardening and maybe identifying plants and animals and stuff but uh if you know me i live uh, unfortunately i live in uh uh, a zone four. So while most of you guys are all uh, enjoying nice spring weather and stuff, uh, I'm getting like a snowstorm theoretically overnight here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I just live in the Arctic and it's just woe is me and it's my fault for choosing to live here apparently. So I have not been able to do that though. I already ha I do have my seeds all picked out and stuff. I'm thinking about maybe getting a greenhouse this year. Yeah, so um, I gotta do my 4K Q&A that I recorded. I just haven't edited it and stuff, uh, where I talk about that a little bit more. Um, all right, uh, and then one only the only other um, I guess goal that I had was implementing a lot more reviews into the channel, and I've done two since coming back, um, which is I guess <laughs> better than zero, but uh, that's something I need to like. I kind of want to start ramping up somehow. I just got to try to figure out a way to do them more consistently besides i mean obviously i could just do I don't, <laughs> that didn't make a lot of sense like i just figure figure out a plan from like my brain to like let me do them more consistently but uh so basically those two things and one sort of out of my control i feel like i'm doing pretty good so far so uh let me know how you felt the first quarter how your reading has been if you got oh one thing i did want to mention is i have not read 
Uh, it's like a double-edged sword. I haven't read any complete flops of a book. I think my lowest is like three and a half stars. However, I've not read any bangers yet this year. Like, there's nothing, I guess I would say, I've, I would like regret not having read it. Um, yeah, just no like absolute five-star reads at all so far. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the lookout for my favorite reads for 2024. If you got recommendations that you've read earlier this year, let me know down below. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you made it this far, you might as well like it. If you watched, you know, 10 minutes of me just rambling about absolutely nothing important, might as well give me a like and sub and all that kind of stuff. But uh, however your reading's going, hopefully it's going, going to be even better here in quarter two. And whatever you decide to read, read victoriously.